Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is a video request and I am so glad to finally be getting on with these video requests and catching up with them and bringing them to you because boy oh boy do I have some amazing requests coming to you that I've been working on lately. Today's video request comes from Terry Zachary and it reads, Hi Kelly, I was wondering if you could come up with something for a charging station for cell phones, tablets, or iPads. Thank you. Well Terry, I think I've come up with something that I think you might like. So let's get to it and let me show you what I have in store for this DIY charging station. Starting off at the Dollar Tree, I picked up these white plastic drawer organizing bins. One black 8x10 frame some black ribbon, and this rubber drawer liner. Heading on over to Walmart, I picked up these quarter inch grommets at 97 cents a pack. I'll also be using some black flat spray paint that you can pick up at Walmart as well for 97 cents, and some of Krylon's clear protective coating. And I'll also be using this fabric fat quarter that I picked up last month at Joann's for 73 cents. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take one of the white plastic drawer bins and I'm gonna spray paint this with the flat black spray paint. Now taking the black eight x 10 frame, I'm gonna remove the back and I'm gonna safely discard the glass because I don't need the glass for this project. Now taking the fabric that I've chosen for this project, I'm gonna flip it over, taking the back of my frame with the stand on it, I'm gonna place it face down, rough cut around it, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna hot glue this down because I want it to stay nice and tight. Now taking the black ribbon, I'm gonna take and place it over the back here to give it a nice finished look so this isn't showing. Okay, so I am happy with how neat that looks in the back. It's always been very important to me whenever I'm doing a project that I have a finished project, not something that looks half done. And by finishing it off this way, this would make for an awesome gift to give. I'm gonna place this in my frame just for a second. Now I'm gonna take two of my silver metal grommets and just set them on top. I'm gonna to take my pencil and trace where they are. When buying a grommet or eyelet kit, you have a piece that looks something like this. You've got a hollow end here and a solid end here. You're gonna take this part and place the hollowed end down and I'm gonna put that where I traced my grommet. And I'm gonna hammer this piece through the fabric and cardboard. So when you pull this up, you then have a hole for where you wanna place your grommet. I'm gonna repeat this for the second grommet hole. And there we've got our two holes for where I'm gonna place my grommet. You've then got this solid metal piece that kind of looks like a washer, and you've got your grommet here. This is the top of your grommet, the piece that has this big lip that comes out of it. You also have a piece that has little spikes that are coming out of it. This is the back of your grommet. Taking the front of our grommet, I'm gonna place it in. I'm gonna take the piece with the spikes and put it in the back. This heavy washer piece I'm gonna set down and I'm gonna place this face down. I'm then gonna take this tool that comes with the kit and I'm gonna place it inside the grommet and I am going to hammer this until both pieces join together. Leaving us with this and this on the back. I'm gonna repeat that process on this side. I 
And now we've got our two grommet holes. Now I'm gonna take and put this back in the frame. Leaving us with this. Now taking my painted plastic bin, I am going to take and glue it right down here like so. And I'm gonna use Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks for this. If you wanna use E6000, you can. I've taken and cut a piece of grip liner that I had scraps of, and I cut it just big enough to fit in the bottom of this basket. I've also taken and cut a piece of fabric. I've ironed in the edges, and I'm going to just hot glue it together. I've glued down all my edges that I've ironed in. Now I'm just gonna take and fold it over and glue it shut. Leaving me with a piece of fabric that will fit right inside this plastic bin and cover up the grip liner. I should also tell you that for the plastic bin, after I painted it with the flat black paint, I took and covered it with Krylon's Clear Protective Coating. It's a non-yellowing coating. This stuff is amazing. It really does help to prevent the chipping and scratching when you paint plastic. And so because our phones will be going in and out of this, I did put a coat of this on it. Now let's put our phones in here. I've got my phone cord here that will fit right through the hole here of this grommet. I'm gonna take my phone and set it right inside the basket, giving us a charging station for two phones or a phone and a mini iPad. That's what I made mine for, for my side table next to my bed. And there you have it, Terry. This is what I came up with for a charging station for a tablet, iPhone, or iPads. I hope you like what I came up with. I know that it's something that I'm using that I keep on my side table drawer next to my bed. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture and send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.